Arcade by Output has now put out Arcade 2.0. It's got a ton of new libraries and a lot of great features, especially a lot of in-depth things that you can do with the sampler. And today we're gonna test it out and cook up a beat. So let's see what we can do with it, all right? Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Johnny Lemons. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the beat, let me know what you think about the video itself. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here, I really appreciate it. So I've got Arcade opened up right here. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a new layout from what I've been told. There is a ton of different packs in here that you can download. Uh, and this is monthly, I believe, it's $10 a month that I pay for the all of this, literally all of this. Um, now there's two different things and I learned this as I went. So there's a line page based on what you want to click or use. You can use a sampler kit. Now sampler kit has something a bit different. It's got pre done all original samples done by output based on the notes and it's all synced to your BPM. So if I set it to a hundred and then it sounds like this. So it's pretty impressive. And you can click on each of these keys and mess with the sample itself right inside of here. So you can dumb it down. So it really gives you a lot of control, which is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie, macros, et cetera. And the built-in macros here are actually pretty good. So if we play this one, for example, again, pretty good. Spreads it out, a little filter. So it's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I really do enjoy it. But the whole point is, let's see if we can write something with it. So I am gonna stick with this downtime pack and I'm gonna find some nice sounds and we're gonna go from there. Let's dive in. This could be kind of fun. Let's turn this up real quick. We'll do this in C minor. The one thing I personally like to do when it comes to MIDI stuff, y'all don't have to agree with this. When I find sounds like that that are multi-layered based on the synth you're using, I will flatten the track and just take the audio itself, which I really, really like. Shouts out Decap. Uh, Drums That Knock 10 is literally one of the best things I've ever purchased in my entire life. Highly, highly recommend that you buy it. Seriously, it was a game changer for me. These, so these sounds are so great with Arcade. I can't even be mad about it, honestly. Boy, never hurts.
nice little icing on the cake here. A little vocal bus on there. Just. <laughs> We got ourselves a heater right here. I don't know about y'all, this already feels great. successfully arcade has definitely taken the cake here as a uh as a plugin this is probably one of the most innovative plugins i've gotten to use in my time as a producer and a musician and uh i couldn't be happier with this i am gonna give it the seal of approval on that so on that note thank you so much for watching i appreciate it hope to see you in the next video uh if you have ten dollars a month to spare i would get this arcade 2.0 my output is an absolute heater of a plugin. It's it's really innovative and they've got so much more that you could dive into on this. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check the links in the description. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one.